How do you measure how much of your features are covered by your tests? Here's a simple way how you can generate a code coverage report for your project without buying specific IDE extensions or installing complex software. But first, let me tell you this. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of code coverage tools. Why? Because I have seen far too often how the misuse of such tools results in tests written purely for code coverage, leading to a mess of unmaintainable tests. Instead, I prefer following BDD and simply stop adding tests when the behavior of a feature is fully covered by its scenarios. And my second indicator for having sufficient test coverage is when I feel confident deploying to production after all existing tests have passed. But again being honest with you, there are rare cases where I take shortcuts to release changes faster. In these cases, I do some manual testing and then later use a code coverage report to get a detailed feedback on where test gaps need to be closed. So now, here's how I create a code coverage report when needed. To collect the required coverage data, we will use a tool called .NET Coverage provided by Microsoft. First, we install it as a global .NET tool using the following command. Next, we ensure that the test project is already built. Now we use the collect command of .NET Coverage to execute the test and collect coverage information. The result will be a coverage file which is not human readable. Therefore we install another small tool called Report Generator. Again, we simply install it as a global .NET tool. Now we run the Report Generator, passing the generated coverage file and the folder where the report should be generated to. When we open the report, we can see the coverage of assemblies, classes and methods. Now there is only one last thing to do. Let's quickly automate the process using a simple f -sharp script. First we create an exec method to simplify the execution of commands in the shell. We use it to implement the install function which installs the two required .NET tools globally. Next we implement the actual collect function by ensuring the solution is built, running the tests, collecting the coverage information and finally generating the coverage report. We call the install or collect function based on the command line arguments provided. To automatically open the report, we add the open browser function and call it right after the generation. We run the script with .NET FSI. You can find a link to the script in the description below the video. There are two golden rules every good test follows which are far more important than high coverage and you will learn about them in this video.